Hello, it's Mark from Landmark Financial Services Group. This is the second in a series on deductible individual expenses for 2019. Today we're going to talk about medical uh, expenses and the deductibility of medical uh, medical costs. Uh, so let's cover a couple of thoughts, a couple of rules first. The, uh, to begin with, you can deduct medical costs only that exceed in total the amount over 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. So if you make $100,000, if your adjuster gross income rather is $100,000, the first $7,500 are not deductible, okay? And, but everything above that is. Now, often in today's world, especially in Massachusetts where we're required to have health insurance, most people never really get to the point where they have $7,500 of out-of-pocket costs. Remember, this is costs that aren't reimbursed by insurance, okay? If your insurance company covers the cost, that doesn't count. It's only what you pay out-of-pocket. So to get to $7,500 in that example, when you have insurance, is not always that easy for residents of Mass. But anyway, so that's the first sort of limitation that you got to factor in. Now, what goes into that pile of deductions, medical expenses, that we will calculate up and add up to see if we get a, above that 7.5% limit? Well, it's all, basically it's anything, any cost that you incur to help cure, prevent, treat any disease or any function of the body, okay? Now, the most common ones, if you have health insurance that you're paying out of pocket, obviously that's deductible. Medicines that are prescribed by doctors, deductible. Um, out of pocket costs for office visits. Let's say you have a, um, you know, a deduction when you go in to see your primary care, that's gonna be deductible. Anything you pay out of your pocket. Um, and, and, and that's pretty basic, okay? Where things start to get tricky is items that could be either way. Now, let me give an example. Let's talk about health clubs, okay? In general, membership in a health club is not deductible. However, if you have to join a gym because you need to use some equipment there to help you alleviate some sort of disease or to help you alleviate some sort of chronic illness, then that membership would become deductible. Okay, how about dietary foods? Same thing, right? As we all know, foods are not deductible. The cost of, uh, of uh, eating is not deductible. However, if a doctor prescribes a specific food to help alleviate a condition, then the cost of that food would actually be deductible. So as you can see, the theme here is that if it's prescribed, if it is alleviating or mitigating or preventing some sort of condition or disease, then it's most likely gonna be deductible. So at the end, you add up all of those costs at the end of the year, and you multiply your adjuster gross income by 7.5%, and if it's higher than that, you get to use that on your itemized deduction list. Now remember, this is only one of four major itemized deductions. It's not entirely determined of whether you're gonna be able to finally get to use it, but um, we'll have a couple more videos uh, that talk about some of the other deductions and how it all interplays. So that's a real brief description of medical costs. If you have any, any uh, questions about any of this, please don't hesitate to call us, 978-984-5425, or you can look us up on the web at lmfsg.com. Thanks.